So on this example, we're trying to create a revenue function, a cost function, and a profit function, and evaluate these at 62. Um, so as we get going on this, you'll notice that we're given a demand function, d of q equals negative 2q plus 280. And then we have to kind of read through here and uh, evaluate exactly what information is given to us about this. So they tell us q is the quantity, um, and then d of q is the price per item in dollars um, for selling Q items. All right, so that's the first information we're going to go with as we try to set up our revenue function. And this set tends to be the challenge for students. So as we know, revenue is the total amount of money coming your direction. So we can, can compute that as price multiplied by quantity. However much you sell something for multiplied by however many you sell. So in our case, let's refer back to what they gave us. They said Q is the quantity, so I'm going to replace quantity with Q, and I'm going to name this R of Q for my revenue function. Now to represent the price, you'll notice they said D of Q is the price. So I'm going to replace D of Q with the right hand side there. So negative 2 multiplied by Q plus 280 and then all of that quantity is multiplied by Q. All right, that's going to give us a representation of the revenue function. We could distribute the Q from the end into each one of those first two terms if we wanted to, but it's not really necessary. The next thing we want to do is evaluate this at 62. So R of 62 items, so that was our quantity, that gets plugged in here and replaces each of these Qs And then maybe it's time to get out our calculator. I got it to be 156 multiplied by 62, which turns out to be 9,672. And that will be in dollars. All right, next, our cost function. Our cost function can come in two parts. It can be our variable costs and our fixed costs. So let's continue reading through here. They say we have fixed costs of production for this item are $3,000. So I'm going to fill that in for my fixed costs. And then it, we're also told that our variable costs are $5 per item. So that's going to be $5 for each item that we produce. So 5 multiplied by Q. I'm going to use C of Q to represent our cost. All right, to calculate how, what our costs are going to be for 62 items, we're going to evaluate this at 62. So that goes in for our quantity. So we have 5 times 62 plus 3,000, which I got to work out to be $3,310 in this example. All right, finally, we want to figure out what's the profit going to be. So profit, if you'll recall, is simply all the money coming our direction so the revenue minus all of our costs, the money going away from us. All right, so we could set this up as P of Q, the profit at selling Q items, would be the revenue of negative 2Q plus 280 multiplied by Q minus our entire cost function. So remember, I'm going to put a big set of parentheses here. 5q plus 3,000. All right, and then we could evaluate that at 62. Or another way we could do this is we've already calculated the revenue at 62 and the cost at 62. We could simply put those two things together and say 9,672 minus 3,310. That difference will be 6,362 that'll still be in dollars and that'll represent our profit. You should get the exact same answer if you evaluated the function that I just created the second to bottom line by putting 62 in for each of the Qs. All right, I hope this helps out as you're working on creating the revenue cost and profit functions based on information with the demand function. Good luck.